Welcome to our season finale. Coming up, lunacy, news, matrimonia, what's on, and final thought, which is our final thought. Here we go. At this point in time, we don't have any future episodes planned. However, that's all subject to change if the public really wants us and our own time allows. For example, I've got work to get sorted. I've got a summer of ghosts in the head, which is running around corridors with a sheet over your head along with loads of other people. Okay, it's not really, it's just our own computers. <laughs> I have got all the skills thing that I've got to attend shortly, which also tests my skills. Luke is making Unity and he's sort of caught up with exams. I'm lucky, I'm doing it coursework based. Uh, but we're a bit tied up, so that's why we're not going to be doing anything for the next couple of weeks, at least. Uh, we will still keep the site up to date with um, text and news and EF files will still uh, be um, put forward bits of things like um, our single reviews they still continue to be added we're churning them out as we've slowly processed what we've done but yeah we're still open to help news team they're working very hard to bring us news so Let's see what they've got for us this week. Here's the news. Short news section this week, which is being dwarfed by RPGX. Betas are coming out once again. I think we're now on beta 6, but don't quote me on that. You can, of course, keep up to date with the latest beta in RPGX files at the top of our website and at time of I can't say print can I time of film the latest beta links and stuff and the bug tracker you'll find in the description for this video on the EFR site on to what's on It's that time of the week again! It's the What's On Guide, or Time Zone in Greenwich Mean Time. So, Tuesday at 7 we have Star Trek Unity. Friday at 7 is Station Omega. At 8 there is a toss up between Atlantis and Excelsior F. Saturday, until the weekend now, 5pm we have Star Trek Asteroid Base. 7 it's um, a tie again, Star Trek Voyager A and Front Lines. 9. We have Dauntless. Sunday. Busy day now. 6. We have Schisms or Banting. 7. Is Unknown Horizons on STRP or Holofed on Holofed. 8. To finish the day, we have First Steps. So, that's your What's On Guide for this week. Hope you having a good week. Here's Luke. You know, I think that being captain of the ship, somebody would have given me their spot on the turbo lift instead of making me wait for the next one. Not our fault you weren't fast enough. In computer game and filmmaking terms, machinima refers to the creation of videos and films out of game materials and assets. First popularised through the creation of the Halo Machinima Red vs Blue, 
the two Elite Force games have had their fair share of filming use, starting with the award-winning Borg War. Locate and assimilate planetary species. Set many years after Voyager's return from the Delta Quadrant, Borg War sees a new Borg invasion of the Federation, but this time they have assimilated creatures not unlike the Exomorphs. At the same time, the Cleons are experiencing internal conflicts, pitting brother against brother. Now approaching asteroid Krolom 792, exactly where the charts indicated it would be. Steady as she goes. Sir, unidentified craft approaching on what appears to be an attack vector. We're dropping out of warp. Borg War uses only Elite Force 2 and Starfleet Command 3 for its material, and does an excellent job of rehashing stock sounds to create a completely new plot. The maps are custom made and in-game scripting, along with cin cinematography, go a long way to making this look like a professional film. Along the same lines, but with a decidedly more comic outlook, Star Trek Silverado is an EF2 machine in a spin-off from a live action show. More custom maps here, but also new game models and some hilarious deadpan voiceovers. <laughs> okay, okay. Force and fails and something sweet and innocent. We've got plenty of sweet, but not much in the way of innocence. Just bring me an iced tea. I can't even order a drink and I put him in charge of my star shack. What's up, Steve? You're not your usual happy self. Horton's been trying to steal my customers again. She's got crewman Shwaloot doing stand-up comedy after dinner on Tuesdays. I would think that would encourage her customers to leave. Me too, but I guess something about the guy is actually funny. What? She doesn't know what it is. As much as I hate to admit it, he is right. I have no idea what the anomaly is. My tactical scanners are showing some very interesting energy surges inside the anomaly. Are you referring to the transient positron output or the consistent neutron emissions? I do not know what those are. Big surprise. Although not a fan film series, the Hollow Federation team have created a short trailer for their second season serial roleplay, which includes some custom skins and some nice plotting as the Klingons capture Captain Ross and a Hollow Council member. Finally, the British fan film series Star Trek Unity has used elements from the Elite Force series since it began in 2005. More recently, we have been able to green screen ourselves into the Elite Force environments or character models into the real world. The best example of the latter would be last year's season finale, Doomsday. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, you didn't catch your name. Ensign Chloe Fisher, sir. Rolling Chloe Fisher, run! In April 2009, the Unity team released the first fully Elite Force Machina Mode episode, using custom models and retextures of pre-existing Elite Force maps, with the voices of the original actors. The next few episodes are now in production. Whilst Machina Mode videos from games are not uncommon, some people have made full use of the two Elite Force games to create their own new episodes, and shows, and long may they continue to find this rather quirky use of computer games. 